Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I am back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. You are important enough, despite what they wanted you to think. You've got a lot going on, so too bad for them. Let's get into it. You are important enough, despite what they wanted you to think. There's some people out here who want you to think the worst about yourself. They want you to see yourself as a, a mangy dog, a mutt, nothing, a loser, somebody that's ill-equipped, somebody that can't do it, someone that's not good enough. But we ain't going to never think that way, so that's too bad. Because we're important enough, despite what they wanted us to think. You may have people in your corner that want you to think that you ain't going to never get there. They may want you to think that it's not for you. Or you're not good enough. As awful as that sounds, it's the truth. They don't want you to know you've got a lot going on for you. More than they would like. Some don't like you to have anything going on for you. But that's when you have to realize that you are the one. You are the best. There's nothing wrong with you. People are allowed to form opinions. People are allowed to have opinions. Whether we choose to take them as our own is our business. And I suggest you don't do that because you're important enough. You have to know that, really believe that deeply and truly that you are enough. They don't want you to realize just how special you are and how there's something here for you to do. I mean, you know you're great. And you know that you're going to do something great. I mean, it's going to be so great, they're not going to know what to think. They're not going to know how to look at you anymore. Because of what you have accomplished and what you have achieved. See, you see there's a lot going on for you already. You see that you can reach the stars. You see that you can go as far as you want. You see that you can have what you want. You can have what you want, be what you want. Minus all that other stuff, and we ain't gonna get into that. But you're important enough. You know, people want you to think certain things about yourself because it makes them feel better. It puts it, it, it puts you all on the same playing field. Some people, you're outmatched. Like you outmatch them, they're outmatched with you. So they have to try to even things out. You wouldn't put a fifth grader in class with a first grader. You could. But you have them outmatched. They don't want you to think you're enough because they don't feel that they can compare to you. And because they feel less than than you and others. That's why they want you to feel you're not important enough. Because if you feel and recognize your level of importance, you just may find out how important you truly are. And you just may find out that you're more important than them. But one thing 
certain people can't stand is when you're more important to yourself than they are to you, especially bullies and narcissistic people. They have to be more important to the person than the person themselves. And usually bullies don't have much going on for themselves. Usually narcissistic people don't have much going on for themselves that are bullies. They're not being the head of some country, some some uh, organization, possibly being in control of things. Then they have a lot more time on their hands. But I really don't want any kind of narcissist around me, successful, non-successful, just do away with all of them. Just put them on an island somewhere and leave them, leave them be. That's what I would do. But you are important enough because you realize that you're the only one that's going to acknowledge that you are important enough. If you're not important to you, hey, nobody's going to view you as important. So that's why you know you're important enough right off the bat, plain and simple. You're important enough because you said you are. You're important enough because some some of us are the only ones that matter to us because we don't matter to anybody else. That alone right there makes you important. You don't matter to anybody. Guess who you matter to? You matter to God. Excuse me, I pointed in the wrong direction. You matter to God. He's in here, inside. And that's why you feel important. Because you feel his presence and you feel his grace. So too bad for them. If you were to realize just how much you had going on for you, it would make your head spin. If you were just to realize how much you had going on for you, you wouldn't even listen to certain people. You wouldn't even place yourself around certain people. Because you would see just how much you're really worth. Just how much of a, a, a precious person that you are. Just how much you have to offer. And you offer up a lot without even knowing it. You bring a lot to the table without even knowing it. You might you might just even be the table. As far as people not wanting you to think you're enough goes, why you have to ask yourself, why would they waste their time trying to get me to believe something other than what I think about myself? It's something they're trying to destroy. It's something that they're trying to sabotage. Something that they want to make non-existent. And that's because you are important to you. God's love for you is being transferred through you at this very moment in time. Put in the comment section below, I can feel it. God's love is transferring to you right here and right now. You're important enough for anybody. If people choose to not view you that way, then you still have enough importance left over for yourself. What they think isn't a, a, a deterrent in your life. They're not taking care of you. They're not paying your bills. They're not making sure you're all right. If they're not doing any of that, then their opinion isn't important. You do that. You take care of you. You make sure you're always going to be all right. So how are you not important? To me, that person sounds very important. And that's how you have to look at it. You know what? I'm very important. Sometimes when people feel you're more important than them, they'll try to get you to think otherwise. 
they see you've got a lot going on. They see that you're talented and you're gifted and you're going somewhere with it and you have big plans for yourself and for your future. Despite what they wanted you to think. Some wanted you to think you wouldn't be anything. Some wanted you to think that nothing would work out for you. Others wanted you to think that if you didn't do what they suggested, suggested you'd never be anything. You'd be, you'd be further away from success than you could ever imagine by, by not listening to them. But what they wanted doesn't matter. I'm going to say that again. What they wanted doesn't matter. What you want is the only thing that matters. What you want is the only thing that's important. What people want for you, you have to get out the habit of Repeating that to yourself. They want this. They want that. They want me to. They want. Me. That's not your agenda. That's not what you want. Your focus is supposed to be on what you want, not what they want for you. What they they could want you to jump off a bridge. Are you going to do it? No. What do you want for you? You want the best for you. Ding, 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 ding. We got a winner. You are important enough because you want the best for you. That's important to you. You are the person that's going to get you the life that you want. That's very important to you. When no one else is there and you're all you got, you're very important to you. So they may want certain things. They may have an idea for you. They may want you to dial it down a, a bit, dial it back a bit, give up on all this success and wanting to be someone oh, who wants to be famous, or who wants to be this, or who wants to be that. It's not really about all that. Some people like that, some people don't. It's not for everybody. But you know what you were put here to do. And you know how God wants to use you. And it's not going to be you that gets any fame. It's going to be God's name that you put on high. That you give all the recognition and honor and glory to. And that's why you're important enough. That's why it's too bad for them. And that's why you've got a lot going on. Because you see God using you, see what he wants to do with you, and you're going to allow him. You're going to let him. You're going to let God do what he needs to do. You let the Holy Spirit take over your life. And that's the whole Jesus take the wheel thing. You don't just sit there and do nothing, but you let the Holy Spirit influence you possess you, direct you, and bless you. You got so much going on for yourself if you only knew. You're about to do so many great things. You're about to accomplish so many goals. You're about to achieve all your achievements despite what they wanted. And what they wanted is not important. We're going we're gonna to brainwash ourselves with that. What they want for us is not important. They may want you to fail. They may want you to fall off a cliff and never come back. They may want the worst for you. But that's not important. More important than what you want for you. Whenever the thought creeps in of what they want, Start to focus on good things for you. What would you like? What would better suit you? 
Is there a new car you want, a new home you want, a new job you want? Is there something better for yourself that you that you desire? What do you have going on for yourself? If you don't have anything going on for yourself, make some things going on for yourself. Have some things going on for yourself. Create some things that will have you to, to be able to have some things that are going on for you. That's all people do. People who have things that are going on for them, people who have things that are set in place for them, who do you think put it there? It might have been someone else. They still have to maintain it, take care of it, and appreciate it. Otherwise, it's going to go to dog stuff. But even if they didn't, even if you put it there, that's better for you because you know you're important enough. You know, despite that, what they wanted for you, you wanted something different. And that's all that matters is what you want for yourself. They could want you to, to fall off a bridge and die. They, 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 could want, they could want you to lose everything. But don't focus on that. That's only going to make you upset. Things that make you mad when you focus on them, all it's going to do is make you more mad. Oh, they want this and they want that. What do what do I want? I want this. I want that. You're going to be able to do something with that. You're going to be able to produce something from that. That's going to get your mind going where it needs to be going. Instead of on revenge. They want this for me. You focus on that, you're going to have resentment. They want this. They did that. You focus on all that, you're going to want revenge. You got to be able to see your way out of all of that. Yes, that's what they wanted. Yes, that's what they did. Yes, that's what they said. You got to be able to see past all of that. You got to have, you have to be able to realize that I've got a lot going on for me. I'm not going to look at myself as any less. I'm not going to think of myself as any less. Other people may have more going on for them than I do right now, but I'm not worried about that. Other people may say I don't have enough going on right now in my own life. I'm not worried about that. You you have to have you have to know and understand that you're going to be okay. If you say you're going to be okay, you're going to be okay. And if you faith you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Even if you fake it, that you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. All right. <laughs> Those, you know, shout, out, shout out to my people. Shout out to everybody who needed that one. Some of us got a fake. We're going to be okay. All right. You, you sitting around death, destruction, and everything that's trying to take you under. You got. You just got to have a positive attitude. You're still enough. All right. You, you may have to fake. <laughs> everything is going to be okay. But guess what? It'll get you through it. And things will be okay. And something will pop off for you. And you'll end up having something for yourself. I guarantee it. I put my life on it. That's on God right there. Because that's on his word. Life and death is in the tongue. According to your belief, so be it unto you. Whether you got a lot going on for you that you're aware of, whether you have a little bit going on for you and you're not aware of all your potential and all things good and great that you can achieve and accomplish and be and do and have. You're still going to be important enough whether you realize it or not. So you might as well state the phrase that pays I am important enough. You'd be surprised how many people don't go and do something because of the image they have of themselves, the idea they have of themselves, the belief they have about themselves. That holds a lot of people back. Makes a lot of people give up and not want to try. Because of what someone told them, what they believe, how they see themselves. If you, if you were to see yourself as being important enough, all those things that everyone else said would fade away. If you were to wake up every day when you get out of bed and say, I am important enough. I am important enough. 
I am important enough. Say that three times every day when you wake up and three times every day before you go to sleep. Watch your life change because you are important enough. Watch how you view yourself change dramatically because you are important enough. Watch how other people treat you change dramatically. You see yourself as important enough. Everybody else has to follow suit. If you, regardless of what you have going on for yourself, take on the idea and image that you have, that you are a person who has something good going for them, something good in the works for them, you'd be surprised how things change for you. People could be in the worst state, the worst condition physically, mentally, spiritually. They could be off to the worst. They talk to one person that changed their mind. Everything will change. And that's what Christ was about. Christ was about talking to the mind. Jesus spoke to a, a man's mind. You want to fix a person? You fix their mind. You can you can you can you can give up you can give a person everything they could possibly need to be fixed and watch them throw it all away because they don't have the proper mindset. You can clean you can find somebody on the street, clean them up, give them a, a everything they need, car, place to live, money. If their mind is not right, they're gonna lose all of that because they don't have the they don't have the mind to keep it. They don't have the the the, the mind to to maintain all of that. To him who hath it shall be given. To him who hath but hath not it shall be taken away. It shall be given and taken away. You have to realize that you have more going for you than somebody may tell you. You have to realize you have going more going for you than the world may tell you. You may be a nobody. They may look at you like a small fry. You may not even exist to some people. I even heard from someone poverty is not, is not existing. But despite how people see you, despite what they have to say about you, despite what they want for you, you are going to have to think a certain way about yourself. You, you you're not you're, you're not in the club with everybody else. They're not going to walk up to you and tell you that you have nothing to worry about. Everything is going to be okay. You, you you don't get that type of treatment. You don't you don't have that type of influence in your life. You you may, and if you do, God bless you. And that's a very positive thing if you do. But for those of us that have those looking at us crazy, giving us, you know, th those weird looks, like you ain't got nothing going on for yourself, get away from me, go somewhere. You got to keep it positive. When your image may not be what you want it to be, you may not have things that you're supposed to have or what you want to have. People will look at you a little strange. But you still have to see that you've got a lot going on for yourself. You still have to see the best being able to happen for yourself, because if not, you're going to fall victim to believing them. And if you believe them, that means you're going to receive them. You're going to receive what they want for you instead of you what you want for yourself. So too bad for them because you've got a lot going on. So too bad for them. Anyone that thinks that anyone that thinks little of you or that wants you to think little of you, that's okay. What you think of you matters most. What you think of you is more important. They, they could look at your life and think that, you know what, this person is not going to be this. They say all this stuff and they're not going to do anything and they're nobody. If, that, if someone thinks that way, that's great. If someone feels that way, that's okay. Because But you have to be important enough to, you can come on in. You have to be Im important enough to realize that good things can happen to you regardless, and good things that and, and good things will happen to you regardless. So you're important enough. You may not feel that way right now. You may not know how things are going to turn out for you. But all you have to do, at the end of the day is no matter what, 
understand that despite what someone wants for you, despite what they think about you, you have a lot more going on than you may even begin to realize. And that should be important to you because you are important enough. All right. Three times when you wake up, times when you go to bed, and even when you're having lunch.